from earlier as the Nets bus arrives at the arena. No doubt this is the club ready to handle this challenge on the road tonight. What a view of downtown Denver. A wonderful night in the Mile High City. Thanks for joining 2K Sports for NBA action this Sunday afternoon. Hi, everyone. Here with analysts Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Hey, Allie. Brian, thanks. Kyrie Irving has settled in Brooklyn after his time in Cleveland and Boston. He said, I'm grateful to be in a position to set a better example now. What I learned was, even on the bad days, you have to galvanize the group. And there isn't one leader. It's the balance of leadership. Guys. Ah, wise words, Allie. Thank you for that. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Kyrie Irving. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. And the starting lineup for the Nets. Harrison Durant in as the forwards. James Harden out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Aldridge in at the center, locking down the middle. And for Denver, Porter Jr., the small forward, with Gordon holding down the four. Then there's Jamal Murray. Then there's Nikola Jokic. And Grant, how often do players check in on their own stats during a season? B.A., everybody in the league watches their numbers. Some guys are just willing to admit it. It'll be the Nets off the tip. Here's Harden. Pass to Irving. Durant with it. Five on the clock. Harden fires away from outside. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. And here's Murray. He played a great game against New Orleans. Porter with it. Takes the three. Hits a three-pointer. How about that smooth shot from the arc from Porter? He's got such a confident release and deep range, too. Now Harden. He chipped in with 13 points in his last game. Outside Durant. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Looking strong to the finish when Durant locks in on scoring. Nobody's stopping it. He's guarded by Irving. Murray from outside. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. He's consistent from out there. Especially when you give him that kind of room. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. And he comes up with a bucket. Hey, the skills of Kyrie are obvious, but what isn't so obvious is his underestimated strength. Outside Porter. Here's the three. Gets the three to fall. Porter's got six. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Durant. A dangerous offensive player. His scoring average stands at almost 30 a game. Right back at you, Durant motivated to put it right in his opponent's face. No better way to do it than with a three of his own. Pass to Jokic. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Irving. To the inside. And Durant with the big finish. Irving doing a nice job there being creative and efficient with that beautiful assist. I'll tell you, man, Irving can do many things for your ball club. But at the top of the list, he's a tremendous shooter with great range and great confidence. Now here's Gordon. An important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. Drives to the hoop. And it's out of bounds. The Nuggets able to retain possession here. Shot clock at two. 
And the bucket is good. You give him eight points now. You know, if you were to hand select a player to take the last shot for you, no one would bat an eye if you chose Kyrie Irving. Ever since his shot over Steph Curry in 2016, Irving's been a legend. And some of it's his mental approach. People say he marches to the beat of a different drum. That may help him in those big moments. Here's Murray following the bucket by the Nets. Pass to Jokic. They kick it out to Murray. Outside Porter. Now Jokic. Fires from deep. And it's Harris with the rebound. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Harden. And there's the drive. Boy, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Boy, that's exactly the kind of activity on the offensive glass that makes Aldridge special. He's guarded by Irving. Here's Jokic. Drains the triple. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. Now here's Harris. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. The drive by Jokic. They kick it out to Murray. And a miss there on the triple. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Harris against Gordon. Driving to the basket. Harris misses. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Outside Irving. From the arc. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Well, his flair for the spectacular has you holding your breath every time Kyrie has the ball. Pass to Jokic. Here's Murray. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Murray's got five now. You know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Harden, the pass to Durant. Fires the three. Ooh, he's locked in. Dreams his fifth shot in as many attempts. Off to a great start. Five straight from the field. And the defense hasn't been able to do anything to stop him. And when that's the case, just keep feeding the hot hand. And Gordon with the big finish. And when Gordon is launching it in the air like that, he's a mesmerizing guy to keep an eye on and just get out of the way. Pass to Aldridge. And the basket is good. Trading the lead back and forth, neither side is willing to back down. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Jokic in the post. He's covered by Aldridge. Aldridge pulls down the board. Brooklyn has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Durant for three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. They're fresh off a win against the Pelicans. Yeah, they hit the court last game with some serious attitude, especially on offense. And, you know, confidence is key there. Uh, they seem to play with a ton of it, especially on the offensive end. Porter. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. Harden against Murray. Outside Durant. Three-pointer. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Denver in the lead. Pass to Murray. Back to Jokic. Jokic is doubled. Uncovered. They get it back. And the dunk by Jokic. Jokic never lacking in terms of getting his body involved. Throwing his body around. Using that bulk and power to grab rebound. Timeout called. Brooklyn defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. They hit a couple big shots, but overall, there was a lack of consistency. Just not their night at the offensive end. And you know what? If you're not going to outwork your opposition, then you typically are going to get outplayed.
again, it's a completely new group here for the Nuggets. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Claxton, he's checked in for Aldridge. Griffin comes in for Durant. Bembry, he's checked in for Harris. And it's Mills in for Harden. And he gets the bucket. And just staying in control. This is Griffin's mindset. Keeping his balance even when the D is present. Morris passes to Barton. 4-3. Rebounded by the Nets. Last time they met in Brooklyn. The last time they faced this team, they were very aggressive. Found numerous ways to get themselves to the line. Yeah, significant differential in free throws made. I mean, give them credit. They capitalized on those opportunities. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Brown, he's checked in for Kyrie Irving. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Here's Campazzo. Morris outside. Outside for Green. Morris outside. Offline with a three. Brooklyn trailing. Down low. Here's Claxton. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. And the chess match continues. Seven lead changes already, and we're still in the first half. Barton outside. That one is off. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Right side, Mills. Outside, Brown. Great look, but off the mark. No excuses, none. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. Inside. Two fouls for him already. If he's not more careful, his minutes will be curtailed. Campazzo. And Mills pulls it down. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lay in. Bembry's shot is good. Yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. Pass to Morris. To win the drought. Rebounded by the Nets. Outside Mills. It's stolen by Campazzo. And here comes the break. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. Outside, Brown. Back to Griffin. Seventeen foot shot on the way. And that one hits the back iron. The Nuggets trail. To the paint. Now here's Naba. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Now you got to remember, Barton isn't just a score. This guy is also superb at finding open teammates. It's Brown on the wing. He's now one for two with that bucket. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. He's now one for two with that bucket. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. Now here's Mills. Pass to Claxton. The shot misses. Green with the defensive effort. The Nuggets shooting 55%. An ideal start so far. Here's Campazzo. He's guarded by Mills. Green. Blocked! And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. So the Nets making a switch here. Thomas has checked in.
clock at six. Let's it go. Off the left rim and out. The Nets with the lead. Outside, Brown. So Bruce Brown is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Here's Morris. Count it. Good. And the Nuggets lead by one. It's been neck and neck this entire first half. <laughs> yeah. Eight lead changes so far. These clubs are looking evenly matched. Outside Mills. Pass to Thomas from deep. The shot won't fall. Michael Porter, he's been the guy making things happen for Denver. He put together 10 points in the quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. slipping out of their grasp lately. Kyrie Irving discussed how they can clean things up. For us, it's just really minimizing um, the mistakes that we make down on our floor um, and what we're doing offensively and defensively, and then bringing guys along as best we can. Trying to get everyone on the same page, Grant. Yeah, B.A., and when he talks about bringing guys along, that leadership component, I mean, that's something Kyrie has continued to develop. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the Nuggets here in this one? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. Well, the player and ball movement has been excellent. Finding space, operating in space, and when they've gotten open shots, they've knocked them down. They've got Monte Morris, Jermichael Green out there with David Nwaba. Then there's Will Barton, and it's Campazzo in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Griffin's shot is off. Denver in the lead. Well, you look at Barton's game, and you appreciate how all around it is. He can stretch the floor. He rebounds both ends of the floor, makes plays for others. He's an X-Factor kind of guy for, for this team. Oh, nice shot by Nwaba. Barton is really a team-first guy who likes to get the ball to his teammates. An excellent passer at his position. Here's Mills. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. Well, another thing you like about Barton, Clark, he seems to play with a chip on his shoulder. Well, it's something, B.A., I mean, when you've got a hunger that's born of wanting to prove yourself, that um, makes a difference at the highest level. He succeeded through hard work and persistence. Yeah. That's how he plays, and that's how he continues to contribute the way he does. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. The Nuggets have gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Here's Morris. Yep, count it. Now it's a five-point Nugget lead. Here's Mills. 17 points for him. Last game against Utah. The ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Campazzo. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. For Brooklyn, they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Fires the three. Thomas, that's good. Thomas. Thomas has gotten himself on the board with a three there. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Denver calls timeout. 
Well, Grant, does it seem like teams are carrying fewer specialists than they used to? You know, B.A., I actually think there's more specialists. I mean, think about it. You have certain players who can do everything, who are versatile, who can carry a team. But then you surround them and complement them with guys who can knock down open jump shots. So I actually think you have more specialists, a lot of them being shooters, who can space the floor for their ball club. Fans, please welcome your Denver Nuggets dancer. Fans, please welcome your Denver Nuggets dancer. Brooklyn making some changes. Durant, he's checked in for Griffin. Harris comes in for Brown. And it's James Harden in for Mills. Left side, Murray. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. And he drops that one in. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Here's Durant, and give him another one. He's 6 of 8 and looking solid. How do you defend him any better than this? I mean, Durant, just an incredible score. Outside Murray, puts up a 3. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. They're unafraid to let it rip from downtown, extending their lead. Brooklyn has gone 4 of 8 from 3, a nice percentage. And the call will be against Nikola Jokic. That's his first foul. Aldridge is checked in for Brooklyn. Irving comes in for Thomas. Murray against Harden. Into the lane. And he gets it to go. Harden's got his first bucket in this one. You know, Harden is so hard to deal with when he drives because you know he's looking to draw the foul and trying to defend him without fouling is a tall task. Now here's Murray. Ten points for him. The three. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Nuggets lead by five. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Floats one up, and the finish inside by Harden. Harden's got four points in the quarter. Yet another hard shot that Harden makes look easy. Amazing at measuring the floating jump. He's guarded by Irving. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Harden against Murray. Outside Durant. Back to Harden. Shot clock at six. Beyond the arc. And it's Harden again missing. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Gordon, the pass to Murray. Now here's Jokic. He's guarded by Irving. Let's it fly. And it's Jokic, that time on the assist by Murray. And now a seven-point Denver lead. So good to see Murray, not just as a scorer, but driving as a passer, too. And he gets it back. Porter with the steal. Gordon with it, now guarded by Harris. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Porter's got 12. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for Denver. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. Another thing they've been doing right from the start is converting a lot of second-chance baskets. Those can be hard to get sometimes. Now here's Irving. He's got five. And the shot goes. Kyrie Irving. Seven points in the game. 
Outstanding body control there by Kyrie. I mean, he continues to score on tough defense, and it never fails to amaze me how he's able to do that so often. Murray against Aldridge. Now here's Murray. The D's right on him. And Aldridge with the block. When Aldridge is in the neighborhood, you've got to be careful shooting. I mean, proving there that he's capable of blocking shots. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. Now here's Aldridge. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Jokic against Irving. Back to Aldridge. Fades back. And too long on the shot. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Ran against Gordon. Pass to Harris. Outside Harden. Outside for Irving. Back to Harden. Over Murray. Aldridge. Oh, Jokic with a block. Jokic has the size necessary to deny shots, and it helps when he's engaged on the defensive end. Jokic in the post. Aldridge on him. Murray from outside. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Jokic has got four assists in the game. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Harden the pass to Harris. Tipped. Out left to the wing. Aldridge with room. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got five rebounds in the game. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a river. Brooklyn's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Irving, the pass to Aldridge. You know, players like Aldridge are a little bit of a uh, diminishing breed in the NBA. A master in the low post with all sorts of ways to score in the paint. LaMarcus Aldridge. down the first one. Bembry, he's checked in for Harris. so he makes both from the line. And the big fellow with the skill level, showing a soft touch at the line. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, how do I put this? Nikola Jokic, not the most chiseled physique. He said when he first made the NBA, there were no muscles. None. Now I have a couple, he said. To be honest, I like being a little bit heavier because guys are pushing me. I need that weight. It's funny, they say. Quote, he's not even in shape. I'm playing in 80 games, and they still say it. Brian? Ah, the joker indeed, Allie. Thanks for that. Here's Bembry. Aldridge left side. And stolen by Jokic. Outside Porter. Back to Murray. Pass to Porter. Six on the shot clock. Releases. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Porter's got 14 points. His play is a big reason why they're ahead. Time out, time out. He hasn't missed a shot all night. You know, one thing Porter's been working on, finishing off contact. Yeah, defenders body him up whenever possible. 
He's young, so it's not easy to add a lot of muscle. But once he does, his game should reach another level at both ends of the floor. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. One guy who's been getting it done is Jamal Murray. They know they need to change things up and do it quickly. They cannot allow him to keep running wild. He's checked in for the Nuggets. And a change for the Nets. Griffin, he's checked in for Durant. On defense, the Nuggets. Griffin finds Harden. Here's Bembry. Outside Irving. Out to the wing. Six to shoot. Here's Bembry, covered by Jokic. Shot by Brembry. No good. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. To the right side. Oh, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. He's got seven. The Nets have gotten seven of 16 shots to go in the second. Irving with it. Seven points in the game. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Gordon, the pass to Murray. Outside Nwaba. The floater. And Harden with the block. Look at Harden getting after it defensively with a little edge. A rude rejection like that will get him all kinds of fired up. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, He's got to step up. Jokic gets the bucket. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. Now here's Irving. Giving them some good production. Putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. Fires from 14. Aldridge misses. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's... Painful for me to watch, too. Back to Jokic. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, Jokic was offered a multi-year deal in Europe back in 2015, but then had a horrible outing, and the team backed away from him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and Barcelona's loss was Denver's gain when Jokic decided to join the NBA. Yeah, you know, it was a slow start for Jokic, but eventually he showed his unique talent as he got more playing time. In the end, he made the all-rookie first team, and from there, it's been all NBA-level performances. And Jokic drops them both. You know, we've seen Jokic embrace a larger leadership role. He wants to be the guy that leads his team, and that's not just with scoring. It's also with his voice. Now here's Mills. Looking at his production, close to 12 points a game. Now here's Jokic. He's guarded by Mills. Morris passes to Jokic. Takes a three. He's off on that one. And Brooklyn going the other way now. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. 44 seconds left in the second period. Back to Mills. The Nets need to get off a shot here. And so he draws the foul, heading to the line to shoot a pair. 
It's on Nikola Jokic. You know Blake Griffin's NBA career certainly didn't have humble beginnings. I mean, he won the slam dunk contest and rookie of the year in his debut season. He really hit the ground running. And he drops the first. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. Barton, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And the Nets also making a change. Thomas is checked in. And he makes both free throws. And Blake Griffin is just an incredible athlete. Explosive and great balance and mobility. Powerful. A big big guy who can flat out throw it down and he also can pass it too. Murray oh, shot is good. I love what he's done in this first half at least so far increasing confidence every time down the floor you can see it. Here's Mills. Releases. It doesn't go for him. And so it's the Denver Nuggets. A sizable 18-point lead at the end of the period. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks very much. I'm here with Mike Malone and Coach. Evaluate this team's execution offensively for me. Well, I think we're at our best when we can get out and run, but also play downhill. It's a simple game for us. When we defend, that gets us out to run. Now we can play downhill, attack, and share the ball. That's when we're at our best. Keep it simple. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. Really an incredible game from Jamal Murray. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. On the floor for Brooklyn, Harrison Durant in as the forwards. Kyrie Irving out there with James Harden. And it's Aldridge in at the five. Murray. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. At his most explosive, Murray is a wrecking ball. And the way he's going tonight, he might just knock this entire building down. And he makes it on the layup. Murray's got 21. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Now here's Harden. Irving finds Durant. Let's go with a three. The rebound by Murray. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Guarded by Durant. Let's it go from 11. Oh, denied by Durant. Boy, that'll get everybody on the bench fired up. They love to see KD playing some D like that. Count that bucket. Irving. Irving's got nine. The Nuggets have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Murray passes to Gordon. Now here's Jokic. There's the drive. Great D that time from Aldridge. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Irving, the pass to Aldridge. Up and over Gordon. And it comes off the front of the rim. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. The Nuggets with another miss. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Here's Harden with the drive. And Harden with the slam. Ferociousness from Harden. Looking like he wants to tear the rim off. Murray passes to Gordon. Pass to Jokic. Back to Gordon. 
And Gordon with the big finish. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. Here's Porter. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got four assists in the game. Sweet move by Porter Jr. Getting around the contact and finding the hoop. Timeout called. Brooklyn. That was a good time to call a timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. Finds Aldrich on the wing Durant. Harden against Murray. Aldrich. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make What's it a three-point play. Lamarcus Aldridge. The Nuggets have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. To the middle. Here's Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. It's almost seven feet tall now. Jokic can definitely throw it down. And he's happy to remind defenses that he can do so. Harden the pass to Irving. Jokic against Durant. Back to Irving. Pass to Aldridge. Oh, they get a hand on it. Down to five on the shot clock. And here is Irving. Let's it go from deep. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic has got 11 rebounds in the game. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. And that one drops. Jokic has got 14 points. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. The Nuggets making a switch here. Campazzo's checked in. And the Nets also making a change. Claxton's checked in. Denver has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Pass to Gordon. Puts it up from 15. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. He's got 10. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. It's stolen by Campazzo. And great job to establish position and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Outside Irving. 
Here's Claxton, covered by Jokic. Up top, Harden. Down low. Here's Durant. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got four assists in the game. You know, Harden's done a nice job really increasing his playmaking over the last few years and excels at finding teammates. Here's Campazzo. Jokic with it. Harden picks him up. From the elbow. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Jokic has got six in the quarter. Brooklyn's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Well, you look at Hart. He doesn't beat you with great speed or by playing above the rim. He wins with pace, angles, and strength. As unique a score as we've seen in probably the last 30, 35 years in the NBA. And Clark Harden is also an expert at using his body as a shield for the ball. I think Shoot it's really two. a good lesson out there for young players coming up, B.A. Use what you have. Don't try to be somebody else. Use what you have. Don't make excuses. And then get busy putting the work in. And the first one at the line is good. Well, you look at Durant, and it's obvious. He feels like he's got so much more to prove. I mean, he's as driven a player as you'll find in this league. That's part of his greatness. The Nuggets making a switch here. Barton's checked in. It's both from the stripe. And KD always in the debate over who's the top dog in this league. And what's interesting is he doesn't really want any part of that discussion. He said, one thing I told myself, don't worry about who people say is the best player. Blocking out distractions is key to achieving greatness. Damn, that one's good. He's got nine. Hey, that right there was a lot of confidence given the size of the disadvantage there. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. Great assist that time by Kyrie Irving. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. They haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They've been the aggressors. You know, something else I've noticed is just how many of their baskets have been What's set up by assists throughout the game. Green's checked in for the Nuggets. And Harris no good on that one. You know, any talk of Harris, I think, has to start with the jump shot. A three-point contest champion. He hits close to half his attempts from beyond the arc, which is just ridiculous. And there's the three-second violation. Nwaba, he's checked in for Gordon. The Nets have gone six for nine in the half, and floor spacers like Harris continue to be the NBA's hottest commodity. B.A., in the day and age that we're in as far as the NBA goes, great value for floor spacers. And Harris's contract, $75 million over four years, talks about what you just said, how valuable and in demand guys like Harris are. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. So, Brian, the NBA tests out different rules in the G League, including shooting one free throw for all the possible points to speed things up. How much did it hurt players' free throw percentages, not getting the multiple tries? Well, averages dropped a percentage point or two. Is that a deal breaker or something to consider? Yeah, those are good questions. We'll see, Allie. Thank you. Here's Campazzo. Martin outside. And he drives in. Uses the glass on the layup. Martin's got five. When he's driving, he's committed to scoring, so not much you can do against Barton in that situation. Durant against Green. Durant, pass to Harden. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Now, here's Green. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Harris passes to Durant. Up and over Porter. And again, it's the Nets missing. Denver has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Back to Campazzo. Brooklyn with the board. 
Claxton's got four rebounds now. Brooklyn's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Harden with it. Now Nwaba defending. Throws it up high! Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish? That was angry. Well, you need both to make it special. And they pulled it off just right. Pass to Barton. Back to Campazzo. Great D that time from Irving. The Nets have gotten 7 of 14 attempts to fall in the half. And it's Harden. That James time on the assist from Irving. Irving's got four assists in the game. A threat to shoot whenever he catches it. Harden wasting no time. Nwaba with it. Barton outside. Pass to Porter. Over Harris. That one a little long. For Brooklyn, they've gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Back to Harden. To the paint. Here's Claxton. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Claxton's got six. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. His offensive output just isn't fair tonight, but his teammates have found a way to pick up the slack. Outside Irving. Pass to Claxton. Over Barton. Claxton can't get it to go. Denver is shooting an excellent rate of 56% on the third quarter. Here's Campazzo. Guarded by Durant. Porter gets the bucket. He's got 18. Boy, what a night from Porter Jr. You see exactly why. He was the number one recruit coming out of high school. Timeout called. Brooklyn. the Nuggets. Jamal Murray is checked in for Michael Porter, and it's Morris in for Campazzo. Outside Harden. Outside Mills. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got seven assists in the game. Boy, there's that hair trigger release on Patty Mills. No hesitation. Catch, shoot, mark it up. Now here's Murray. He's got 21. Outside, green. And he's going for the lob. And it goes out of bounds. That one off green. I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. Brown, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Brooklyn has gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. Oh, Morris with a steal. And here's the fast break. Murray against Brown. Yes, it's good. Murray's got six in the quarter. In the mid-range, Murray can really make it happen now. He's just that versatile a score. There's a minute 12 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Brown. Nwaba pulls it in. 
Nuaba's got four rebounds now. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough. DeAndre. But that's how you win games. Brooklyn making some changes. Aldridge has checked in for Claxton. And it's Thomas in for Griffin. Pass to Morris. Shoots over Mills. And the Nuggets getting another bucket to fall. Well, the Nets shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Here's Bembry. He's guarded by Barton. Here's Aldridge. Up top, Mills from behind the arc. He can't get that one to fall. Denver has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside for Green. Barton outside. Just five on the clock. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Barton's gotten four this quarter. And so it's Denver continuing to pile it on. Up 22 as we head to the break. Really mucking it up on defense. Active hands, multiple efforts, forcing turnovers. More 2K action in just a moment. We reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Down low, it's Gordon and Jokic. Morris and Murray are your one and your two, and it's Barton in at the three slot. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Pass to Thomas, lets the three fly, and the three-pointer goes. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. And here's Morris to the inside. Here's Jokic. Counted. And it's Morris with the assist. Hey, even by NBA standards, Jokic is a mountain of a man. 6'11". They list him at 284. That's almost a seventh of a ton, folks. The Joker can handle whatever contact Jamal he embraces. And Jamal Murray picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Denver on the... Now Brown. Here's Thomas. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Will Barton picks one up. Ooh, good defensive intensity. But you have to stay in control always. Especially on a three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free he throws. Sucks. Three shots. good on the first of three coaching turnover is a fact of life in the NBA grant as a player how tough is it to adapt to a new coach well it depends on the timing I mean an offseason change gives the team a time to get used to a new system now if it happens in midseason it could be a little tough the learning curve is definitely steep and the second free throw is good And he makes all three. Denver has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Martin outside. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Here's Jokic. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. And the Nets shooting about 47%. A nice number. 
Here's Brown. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. How about that going up strong? I mean, he doesn't care how much height he's given up. It's attitude with him. Murray passes to Gordon. Morris for three. The shot, no good. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Celtics. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Cavs, Mills with the bucket. You know, Mills is not just a long-range gunner now. He can score on the move, too. Underestimate Mills at your own peril. So Bruce Brown is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. So both teams changing it up here. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Sinks the tray. And the Nuggets lead by 17. One this half, two for the game. Staying active from beyond the arc. Pass to Aldridge. Over Jokic. That's short off the rim. Denver has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Defended by Brown. Oh, denied by Durant. Fast break, Brooklyn. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Here's Aldridge. Cashes in the 12-footer. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Jokic. Pass to Gordon. Puts it up from 15. And he hits the jump shot. You know, it's so easy to take it for granted when Jokic makes a pass like this. The big fella has us spoiled with his passing ability. It is absolutely exquisite. Mills with it. Defended by Murray. Now Brown. Now here's Durant. He shoots. Again, the net score. Easy feasting for KD. I mean, he's been killing them tonight. They just don't have an answer for him. Gordon outside. Pass to Barton. Back to Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. He's undersized for a four, but his hops level the playing field. Brown with it. And here's Mills for three. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got his fourth rebound in this one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. But, you know, if you ask me, Aaron Gordon is clearly one of the best dunk contest competitors to never win the crown. I mean, he put up unreal performances in 16, 17, and then again in 2020. When we look back at Aaron Gordon in those contests, he narrowly lost in 2016 and 2020. And you know, Brian, that 2016 duel between Gordon and Zach Levine was epic. One of the best I'd ever seen. In 2020, Derrick Jones Jr. just beat out Aaron. It wasn't that Aaron lost. Derrick Jones Jr. just won it. Both guys got 50s in the last round. Michael Porter, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Harris has checked in for Brooklyn. Kyrie Irving comes in for Brown. Both free throws good from Gordon. Got to stay active when Gordon's out there. I mean, his ability to make something out of nothing is huge for this team. Pass to Durant. The three ball. Denver grabs the miss. Since hitting two triples in the first half, he's been non-existent from out there. Jokic passes to Murray. Back to Jokic. Three-pointer off the mark. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Oh, got that one up quick. Always great from deep. I don't think Irvin has gotten enough credit for how lethal he is from behind the arc. Guarded by 
Guarded by Duran. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Outside Irving. Oh, Jokic with a block. Outside Porter. Pass to Jokic. Inside. And Gordon with the basket. On the assist by Jokic. Gordon's got 12 points here in the second half. Brooklyn has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Mills. Outside Durant. Jump shot is good. Durant's got four points this quarter. Doing what he can to help shrink the deficit, but it has to be a team effort. He's guarded by Irving. Outside for Porter. Right side Murray. The three is up. And it's Irving with a rebound. He hasn't found the range lately. It's wild to think he had three triples there in the first half. Takes it inside. Count that one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's six of nine tonight. Boy, how about that crafty drive by Irving? Anticipating the contact and able to get around and through it. Murray passes to Jokic. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. You know, no defense has really solved Jokic. After six years in the league, this guy is dominant to the point where he's now a perennial MVP candidate. James Harden, he's checked in for Brooklyn. The problem with defending Jokic, he seems to have an answer for everything you throw at him, Clark. B.A., he's a beautiful player to watch. Light-footed, doesn't overwhelm you with power or speed. All he does is make the right play. Show him help in the post, he's passing to the open cut. Bring a double from the baseline, he slings it across court for an open three. If you sag off, he spots up and dots your eye with the jump. It's insane and beautiful to watch. And that one's good. And the Nuggets lead by 19. No need to risk a shot from range when you can take it inside. Harris outside. Aldridge against Jokic. Aldridge passes to Irving. Six on the shot clock. Shot from 12. And there's another one for the Nets. You know, we've seen a much different version of him in this half, guys. He's been sharper, more focused, and more assertive. Now here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. He's guarded by Irving. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. <laughs> so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. Full throttle, pedal to the metal, attacking basketball. I like that. Two. First one falls for him. on both here's Harden pass to Aldridge and here's Harden there's the three it's hauled in by the Nuggets Gordon's got rebound number five here tonight He's guarded by Irving. Here's Porter. 
outside Murray. There's the triple. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Brooklyn has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Pass to Irving. And here's Harden. He's guarded by Porter. For three, it's deflected. You know, one area where I think Porter Jr. has surprised a bunch of folks is his shot blocking. I mean, he's got a natural knack for doing it. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Here's Irving. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. You know, last year when Irving announced that James Harden was now the team's point guard, that raised some eyebrows. But as usual, there was a method to Irving's madness. Clark, when you talk in depth with Irving, most of his opinions are well thought out. So I agree too. with you. I mean, he's a bit misunderstood, but he's very thorough and thoughtful and has some interesting things to say. I mean, when he plays the point guard, he says he sees everything that's going on. And I wouldn't argue with him because he's got great vision. When he plays the two, he knows what he's looking for, and that's to put that ball in the bucket. And he does it as well as anybody in the league. Both free throws good from Irving. Hard to keep up with Irving. I mean, this guy knows how to get to the line. He's a multi-dimensional scorer, timeout. always attacking. Now a timeout called by Denver. Now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, James Harden. And I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset. I mean, he had the energy and the intensity all game. He didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the rim. Here's Jokic. Here's Murray. Pass to Gordon. Launches it. Rebounded by the Nets. Irving's got seven rebounds in the game. 18 feet out. Good! Now seven for 11 on the night. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Now Murray. Now here's Porter. To the inside. Jokic in the post. Guarded by Durant. And it's Jokic missing. Well, Brooklyn's shooting just a phenomenal clip. 59% here in the fourth. Harden's got space. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. That's one of the areas he's really improved. Durant's passing abilities have grown as his years in the league have grown. Outside Murray. To the middle. Here's Jokic. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, you know, in high school, he was a star. In college, the same thing. Nikola Durant got drafted second back in 2007, then immediately became an all star.
free throw drops for Jokic. And Durant averaged over 20 points a game his rookie year. And B.A. also won Rookie of the Year as well. Since then, he's won just about every individual honor you possibly could. First ballot consensus Hall of Famer when it's time. And Jokic drops them both. Timeout called. Brooklyn. They're losing by 15. We've got a minute 48 left to play in the fourth. Wing Harden defended by Murray. Pass to Durant. Over Gordon. And again, it's Brooklyn. Boy, that in between game of Durant is deadly. Give him this shot, and you'll regret it. Now here's Gordon outside Murray. Shoots. There's Jokic on the assist by Murray. Jokic just got nine points in the quarter. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Nuggets. They had more assist and shot the ball more efficiently. Those things tend to go hand in hand. And that's so true. Without a doubt, their ball movement was essential to winning this game. And they notch another win, number 34 of the year. And this team really wanted to at least split this season series. Absolutely. I mean, they had this date circled in, on the calendar for redemption. I mean, you never want to lose two games and be swept. Take a break. And it can be harder two in shots. an East-West game than playing against teams in your own conference. So this is a big win for them. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Nikola Jokic. Now, he was a problem on the glass today, relentlessly crashing the boards and... Came away with a bushel basket full of rebounds. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Stevens is checked in for Aldridge. Winslow comes in for Harris. Thomas, he's checked in for Irving. And it's Brown in for James Harden. And so he hits both. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. Morris against Durant. Pass to Bowl. Shoots over Brown. Bowl, no good. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and, and you can see why. And here's Durant. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Durant's got 30 points. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they shown this kind of fight earlier. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. Morris can't hit. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Not by a long shot. It's all but official. Pass to Thomas. The three. Nwaba pulls it in. Morris with it. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. 
and it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Nicola, congratulations on the win. What does a win like this say about your team? I mean, we are looking for each other. We are finding it. It's, it's uh, when we start playing like we're supposed to play, we are really good. So hopefully we're going to continue to play like this. Thanks, Nicola. Back to you guys. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.